Gold and silver both breaking the resistance yesterday have seen a good dip and went well towards 1630 and 1890 levels respectively. Now what to expect today? Which position we should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. This is the first analysis for the day. The next update will be up before the US cash session for gold. Do watch it also. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do press the bell icon. Missing on to subscribe. This channel is missing on the profits. So do not forget to subscribe the channel. Let's start first with looking to gold followed with silver. Do watch till the end. Do listen to it carefully and do note down the levels here. Now on the hourly charts after achieving the lows at 1630, it is showing you a rebound but should it should we consider it as a reversal or this is just a retracement right now on the hourly chart it appears see the 20 period moving average giving it a resistance and it is still trying to trade in this channel the highs of this channel are close to 1640 levels and if you look look at the lows the lows are also well aligned here so be careful there 1640 may provide a little resistance beyond that you can stay long but then 1645 is the maximum resistance only bullish move to be considered if it trades above 1645 levels hence you can remain long with the uh, above 1640 but then expect 1645 as the maximum resistance and beyond that it is going to fly high directional movement bearish trying to converge stochastic is rising from the bottom there then the MACD has just crossed over on the early chart this is the first green candle and we can see this on the charts also that this is giving a breakout on the early charts probably it may sustain couple or more green candles from here RSI looking upwards and if you look at the two hour charts Likewise on the 2 hour chart still at the lower uh, upper end of this channel hence it has to give a breakout yes if you see it trading above 1640 that should be considered a good breakout and beyond that you can stay long on gold probably expecting 1645, 1650, 55 and then beyond that it is going to fly high for 1660 and plus plus levels. Directional movement is bearish trying to converge crossover for a bullish move stock high stick which was trading oversold now looking upwards trying to rise a bit the MACD is trading at bottom and now trying to converge crossover for a bullish move I'll wait for it to cross over RSI was trading oversold looking upwards here too similarly on the 3 hour charts yes it's still not at the highs there let it break past 1640 and certainly you can stay long 1645 50 levels cannot be denied 50 55 cannot be denied see if you look at the 3 hour charts, the next highs of this channel are at 1655. So yes, if it is trying to trade in this channel, it's still a long term channel uh, highs lies at around 1655, 1660 levels. So probably it can try to achieve that. Directional movement is bearish, trying to converge here. Stock IST rising from the bottom. This was oversold here. The MACD is willing to converge crossover for a bullish move and RSI rising from the bottom here, indicating little bullishness. And if you look at the 4 hour charts, now look at the 4 hour charts. Likewise on the 4 archers, one observation is it is showing you lower lows and it is showing you lower highs. So I think it might try to trade in this channel and possibly it can try to achieve these levels which are high at around 1640-45 and once it trades beyond 1645 certainly one should not remain short beyond 1645 it is going to fly high and beyond that certainly we can see a stronger bullish momentum to continue. Directional movement bearish trying to converge, stock stick trading at bottom trying to rise, the MACD is trying to converge, RSI is willing to rise here and if you look at the daily charts, on the daily charts, now see, first thing is almost double bottom here, now second thing is higher lows it is trying to give you here, indicating that it may try to sustain the bullish momentum a bit, but at the same time, see major influential will be fed anyways, but see higher lows, and lower highs here hence it has to break past the zone at 1665 1660 and trading above which certainly you can expect that we are looking forward to a bullish reversal now for the week if even if it is bullish for the week it has to break past the zone at 1645 47 beyond that consider that it has reversed and we may see it trading bullish and expect it to rise till towards 1655 60 beyond that certainly more bullishness to be seen Directional movement so far divergent and bearish here. Stochastic trading oversold and the MACD is has just crossed over trading with very little divergence. RSI looking upwards. So considering this for the day, only sell entry is below 1630 levels. Below 1630, you can sell gold and expect it to drop strongly till towards 1622 levels and 1618 levels. In fact, it can go below that. So only short level today is 1630. Do not think of selling gold till it is above 1630 and yes on the upside the target is 1645 1650 1645 1650 zone maximum resistance there 
then 1655 and beyond that it is going to fly high take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss let's have a look at silver and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably taking right entries and right exits at the right time you can join my mentorship badge the 16th badge starting on 7th of november only couple of seats are left you can reserve your seats now because delaying your learning is delaying the profits do not miss this opportunity the strategy is cu curated for you all throughout our years of experience definitely will help you become a profitable and proficient trader else you can be just part of my signals channel trading as per the signals definitely you can profit reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are only ones which are mentioned in my channel and video description look at the description there on the downside goes a little below and you will find the email id and uh, te my telegram id and telegram channel link also only reach out to those id for any of your queries now let's have a look at silk Silver on the hourly charts is giving a breakout here. It was consolidating here in between 1920-1900. One breakout here, second breakout here. 1940 is the maximum resistance. I, as I have always maintained, 1940 is my favorite number, and then 1950-1960. These two numbers are the favorites, and it may try to strike in this zone. This is definitely a very strong resistance zone. Only bullishness to be confirmed if it trades above 1960 levels. Yes, you can buy here with the stop loss at 1920. You can remain long on silver. 1920 is now going to be the extreme support, and only short entry is below 1900. So first thing is till the time it trades above 1920, you can stay long on silver. You can expect it to fly high till towards 1940, 1950, 1960, and if it breaks 1960, you can remain long in on silver for the rest of the week. Crossing over for a bullish move here. Stock ASTIC is also entering into overbought levels. The MACD is divergent and bullish here. And if you look at the RSI, this is also looking vertically up here. A little bit of cooling can be expected, but more or less it may remain bullish here. Now look at the two R charts. On the two R charts, if you look at this is the zone which it is trying to strike. Yes, it is seen lower lows. It is seen higher. So uh, lower highs and hence once it breaks beyond 1940, you can still expect 1950, 1960 levels. Remember, silver is giving a breakout here on the two hour charts too. With the stop loss at 1920, one can stay long. Every drop till 1920 is a good opportunity to buy. Only sell entry is below 1900 levels. Directional movement crossing over for a bullish move. Stock has taken entering overbought. MACD has crossed over. This is divergent. This is bullish. This is the first green candle. It can sustain further bullish candles. RSI looking vertically up, and if you look at the three R charts, likewise on the three R charts, this is a breakout here. This is the first candle. There is a crossover between the twenty and fifty period moving average. Now, see, yes, this is not a bullish cross, but this breakout may reverse the thing soon, and hence it is right now having a downward pressure. Once it breaks past nineteen forty, you can still expect for the more bullishness nineteen fifty, nineteen sixty. to provide a very strong resistance so stay long till the time it trades above 1920 levels and only short entry is below 1900 levels in between 1900 and 1920 do not trade silver directional movement crossing over for a bullish move stock astic is almost in through the overbought levels and the macd is on the verge of a crossover for a bullish move rsi looking upwards all indicating bullishness there now look at the 4r charts on the 4r charts similarly it is giving you a breakout but at the same time the resistance there at 1950 1960 is going to be very very strong this is the first breakout candle it can sustain the bullish momentum here and hence one can expect the bullishness to continue for it one can stay long on silver with the stop loss at 1920 every drop till 9 to 20 is a good opportunity to buy the directional movement crossing over for bullish move stock has stick entering into overbought levels macd is on the verge of a bullish crossover and rsi looking upwards indicating little bullishness which may continue in silver here Now look at the daily charts here. First thing is look at the previous two candle lower lows are done. Now lower lows it also means that probably it may try to strike the lower highs of this channel which are situated at around 1950 1950 50 60 zone. Hence my target is that till the time it trades above 1920 till the time silver today trades above 1920 you can stay long we may see 1950 1950 50 60 levels. And if it breaks above 1960, certainly the more bullishness can be seen. 1980, 2000 levels cannot be denied. Anything is possible. Stay long in silver. Every drop till 1920 is an opportunity to buy and catch this opportunity. Stay long. So this is all for silver. T take your trades accordingly. And also, just ha let's have a glance at the indicators there. 20 period moving average way down 100 period moving average way down 50 period moving average it is trading above all the three indicating bullishness directional movement is bearish trying to converge stock has to comfortable the macd is 
willing to cross over for sell but is still in green rsa looking upward so yes i have already given the verdict trade accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the tailing stop loss join my mentorship badge join my signal group reach out to me for more details the telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you